Now I want to talk about the physics behind why this solar angle is so important. Why am I so focused on the altitude of the sun? Well, the physics that drives the seasons is energy flux. So let's talk about, talk about that concept and break it down. Um, flux means flow. So you can think of energy flux as the flow of energy through some area. So flux is given this Greek symbol phi. It's equal to the energy um, in some amount of light divided by the area that that light illuminates. So if you have a higher flux, a higher energy per area, then that will cause the surface of the earth to heat to a warmer temperature. And we can see this um, using an experiment, which we can't do because we're on Zoom, but you can think about it instead. So thinking back to our proportionality concept, looking at this equation, if you increase the area, what's going to happen to the flux phi? Anyway, okay, I'm seeing most votes for option number two, that if we increase the area that the flux is going to decrease, and that's exactly right. So if we look at the proportionality relationship here, the flux is inversely proportional to the area. So as the area goes up, then that means that the flux goes down, right? If I go one over 100, that's a smaller number than one over two or something. So larger area means a smaller energy flux. All right, so um, just to illustrate what this actually looks like, instead of just using the equation, if I use a light bulb and I shine it on some sort of aperture, like a cardboard box with a hole cut out of it, um, then it will strike the table below and the amount of energy going through this hole is always gonna be the same from the flashlight. The flashlight isn't changing. Um, but if I'm incident on the table perpendicular, then I'm putting all that energy in the smallest possible area. However, if I come in at an angle, um, so this would be a steep angle, a large angle here from horizontal, then I'm gonna be illuminating a slightly larger area. And so my energy flux is gonna be smaller. And if I come in at a shallower, so a smaller altitude angle, the area gets even bigger. And so my energy flux is even smaller than before. So the energy here is not changing, but the area that I'm projecting onto is getting larger. Therefore, the energy flux is dropping. If I look at all these three situations at the same time, the same amount of energy is going through each of these uh, through the aperture every time, uh, but the energy flux is lowest when the area is largest at the shallow angle. Okay, so the bottom line is the energy flux depends on the angle that I come in at. So question for you, which sun altitude would result in the greatest possible energy flux? 